All right, today we got a 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. It's got a ton of U-codes. We've already tracked down the problem. We'll get it inside and I'll show you what I found. So as you can see, we've got a ton of communication codes. Pertaining to the KNC bus. But the only one that's staying active is the tire pressure module. So here is the new TPMS computer module. And we went ahead and took apart the old one. When we unplugged it, we noticed that the power pin was corroded off. So we decided to pull it apart. You can see the power pin did corrode off. And then also the amount of corrosion between the data lines we believe is what was pulling down the network which I think it's pretty obvious so we're gonna get the new one installed we gotta repin the connector to fix that power line and then we'll be back so here's our connector I don't know if you can see it or not but the power pin is still in it So I'm going to attempt to repin just that wire. And if that doesn't work, we'll change the whole connector.
this is by far the best place to mount modules on the frame by the tires definitely people making way too much money for doing dumb shit get around the ground and see if we have communication with that now so the Jeep had a very intermittent no crank no start all the lights on the dash going off uh, we probably started it 30 40 times started every time was unable to duplicate the problem We checked a few splices, everything looked good. The only thing we found was the corrosion in the TPMS module. So we'll go ahead and get the Varus fired up. see if we can communicate with this now and we can So again, here's all of our data codes for the CAN bus. So we're going to go ahead and clear all of this out. We'll do another code scan just to see what comes back right now. So our only code right now is the missing tire pressure sensors, so I'm going to try to get those relearned and then I'll be back. So I was just informed by the owner that there's actually no sensors in these tires and they're okay with the tire pressure light as long as they're not getting the no start anymore. So um, as of now there's no engine light, no codes, everything seems to be working okay. Once again, I could not recreate the problem, but I think what we found was the problem. So if your 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sahara is setting a bunch of U-codes and doesn't want to start, that would be a good place to look. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.